Здравствуйте, меня зовут Владимир Васильев. Я приехал на Экспо из Торонто. Я учу тоже русское боевое искусство на звание системы. Если можно сказать об Экспо, это спасибо Стэнли, что пригласил сюда. Очень много интересных людей. Есть чему поучиться и посмотреть. Как бы, ну и с удовольствием тоже покажем свое мастерство с Михаилом. Всего доброго. Спасибо. And now we're in for a special treat. Next we have Vladimir Vasiliev, instructor of the Sistema. And to then guide us through the entire performance is his wife, Valerie Vasiliev. Thank you very much. Uh, we'd like to introduce to you and further uh, teach you about the Russian martial art Sistema. The word Sistema means the system in Russian. So um, here is Vladimir Vasiliev, um, who is uh, a special operations unit professional. Um, special operations units in Russia are called Spetsnaz. And he will demonstrate to you the experience that he got from Spetsnaz. Um, this is the ancient Russian style of fighting, really. It dates back to the 10th century. The reason that it's not so well known is in 1917 in Russia, when communists came to power, they reserved this system for the elite special operations units only. And Vladimir is the first person that actually came out of Russia and in 1993 opened up uh, of the first Russian martial arts school. Um, the school is located in Toronto, Canada. That's where we came from right now. Um, there's about over 60 certified instructors and schools all over the world that teach this system. So here's this brief introduction, and now take a look at the movements themselves. The main feature of Sistema is natural movements. Everything that happens is absolutely spontaneous and natural to each person involved. There is no stances, there's no kata, there is no patterns that people learn at all. Um, each sparring or each demonstration that you see is completely unrehearsed and unprepared. So Sistema covers all aspects of confrontations, hand-to-hand -hand combat and grappling, uh, throws, wrestling, and of course defense against weapons, defense against the knife and the stick, defense against handgun, use of improvised weapons. So any possible scenario that could happen in reality is what Sistema covers. You don't need any background or experience uh, to start this. As you noticed when you were in class, um, you quickly realize what your own natural movements are, and that's what you use for self-defense. Those are the movements that carry the most power because they are natural to you. You don't have to learn them and memorize them. You already have them. Both the Vladimir and the Mikhail that you will see in demonstrations later, they offer a lot of instructions in their seminars. There's a, a large instructional film collection. There's uh, summer training camps that we do. So defense against multiple opponents is a really good feature.
Okay, you will now see another demonstration defense from a handgun. Notice how the movements are always uninterrupted. There is no stopping, no pausing. The movements are smooth and flowing all the time. Another distinctive feature about this style is it's not a competitive art. It's the one that applies to real life. Uh, it's been tested many, many times in numerous battles, high-risk missions, um, high-risk operations of special forces, and it still, to this day, is used in many units of Spetsnaz. The fact that there is no katas and no stances in this system, it doesn't mean that there's no foundation. There is, uh, definitely. <laughs> okay, I think we'll at this point and we'll continue with the speech when Mikhail comes in. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you, Valerie, Vasilia, and her husband, Vladimir.